Hi everyone, I'm Cohen Kiss, also known as Phoenix Star YT, and today I have something very special for you. Since the Phoenix Star YT channel reached 100 subscribers, I'm going to tell you where this channel came from, how I started on YouTube, and what my chances are for the future. This is going to be a very long story, so buckle up and let's have some fun. Before we really get into my backstory though, I want to get a little bit into who I am first so you get a better understanding of who I am as a person and where this story is going to come from. To summarize myself very quickly, I'm 21 years old, I have a huge passion for film production, I've been making YouTube videos for about 9 years now. Over the years I've used several editing programs like Movie Studio Platinum and Adobe Premiere Pro which is the program that I use today. I've had several YouTube channels in the past. I live in the Netherlands and this was my first attempt in making an English YouTube channel. I found YouTube way back in 2009-2010 when YouTube was still a relatively small platform. I just so happened to find it by chance because of a friend of mine who was watching YouTube videos, particularly Super Mario Galaxy Let's Plays. This was a very unfamiliar territory to me because at that point I would never really seen any online videos before. I did not grow up with any online productions to begin with. Which yes also means that I had to miss the wonder that is Newgrounds. Apparently a lot of people grew up with Newgrounds, I did not grow up with Newgrounds. Yeah, that was a very different time. So finding a site like YouTube was something very different for me and I really enjoyed it. I was having a lot of fun watching some random walkthroughs of Super Mario Galaxy and watching some gameplay of Mario Kart Wii. And that's actually what I watched for probably a couple of years. Then eventually, in 2012, I found out that it's very easy to make your own YouTube channel and to produce your own content. So the very first video that I made was a very very shitty Happy Wheels gameplay way back in 2012 when I was literally sitting right next to my parents at my grandmother's laptop. I am not even kidding. I was recording a Happy Wheels gameplay while my parents were having a little conversation right next to me on my grandmother's laptop. And Happy Wheels was a game that I was probably not even supposed to be playing at 12 years old and why I decided to record gameplay of that while I was visiting my freaking grandmother with my parents sitting right next to me, I have no idea. My mind was a little bit messed up when I was 12 years old and I was just having fun. So that was that. Ever since then, I've had several YouTube channels, all of which were Dutch and all of which were absolute garbage fire. None of the channels that I had had any sense of quality to them. All that I really did was record some random gameplay for the channel and I don't know, I was just having a lot of fun with the videos that I made. I was still relatively young when I was making those videos. I had no idea what the frick I was doing. At one point I was literally pointing a camera at my television and I was recording gameplay for Super Mario Galaxy or whatever from that. I have no idea what even came into my mind when I was doing that, but that was what I did, because that was the only method that I had of recording gameplay footage at the time. None of the videos that I made back then are even available on the platform anymore. I removed those way back when I was all like, okay, these videos are terrible, this channel is terrible, I don't want to look at it anymore, I just removed the entire channel altogether. In hindsight, I could have easily just kept those videos on the platform, for nostalgia purposes, but I don't know. I guess I was all like, eh, these videos are so freaking terrible, it's not worth keeping them around. Which I honestly am not complaining much about. Now one channel that still exists to this very day is one that I actually put in quite a bit of effort to make sure that the videos are good, and yet the videos are still pretty terrible. The channel is called Mr. Cohen Kissed, which Believe it or not, is the exact same name that I've used ever since 2012. Mr. Cohen Kissed was the name because... I don't even know why it was called that. To be honest, I think that the name was Mr. Cohen Kissed because that was the very first suggestion in a small list of suggestions for the channel name. The thing is, when I first made my first YouTube channel, Mr. Cohen Kissed, I was just trying to name it Cohen Kissed. But apparently that name was already taken, so I needed to pick between several suggestions that 
they gave me. And I always choose the very first one that's on that list because that's the easiest option, I guess. So I went with Mr. Cohen Kiss back in the day. Now, nowadays, it doesn't really matter whether the name of your channel was already taken or not because there are a bunch of YouTube channels out there that have the exact same name, which honestly is not really the best thing to do. If you want to be recognized, you need to have your name at least somewhat unique. And I don't think Mr. Cohen Kissed is one of those names that a lot of people have been using over the years. Anyway, this particular channel was the one channel that I actually spent a lot of time making actually good videos. Did it turn out well? Mm, yeah, I honestly don't know. I don't think that I would really classify these videos to be good because honestly, they really are not. The majority of these videos are pretty much just me being a complete idiot recording a gameplay video. However, this was the channel where I decided to start making review videos. The very first few reviews that I did ever were released on that channel. They were My Little Pony reviews and they were pretty terrible, but I still am quite proud of what I did with them. Those videos were really the very first ones that I actually took seriously. I really wanted to make something good out of them. Did it turn out well? Uh, I am proud of how they came out, but I would not really say that they are worth watching back. The channel reached over 200 subscribers and then I just kind of quit when college got in the way which I really needed to put all of my focus on. The thing is, college is taking a lot of time and it's not very easy to do college alongside making YouTube videos, especially not if you have to travel one and a half hours of your day just to get to school. Anyway, eventually I kind of missed making videos and I decided that I wanted to make a channel that I actually take a lot more serious than I did with all of the other channels that I had before this. So I decided to make Phoenix Star YT. This channel was a brand new start for me. I wanted to make high quality videos that I spent a lot of time, heart and passion in that I enjoy watching and that my audience can enjoy watching. And I think that I'm accomplishing that pretty well so far. I think that the videos that I make are a lot better than anything that I ever made on the Dutch channels that I ever had, which I had a lot of. <laughs> Quite a few videos that I make on the Phoenix Star YT channel are very well thought out. A lot of the videos that I make on this channel are videos that I researched. The videos that I make on here are videos that I spend a lot of time editing. I want to make an actually good product. And I think with these heavily edited videos, I'm doing a pretty decent job. In fact, it has eventually reached the point where I decided that, you know what? I think it's about time that we actually do something with this. So I got in touch with several YouTubers who I edited videos for. These include I Love Kim Possible a lot, Star Giant Productions, and Phantom Strider, who I still work for to this very day. Strider, I actually have been working for for about six or seven months now. And I have absolutely no plans on stopping with working for Strider. I think working for Strider has been a fantastic experience so far. It's been absolutely fun. It's been pleasant. Strider is a very cool guy to talk with. And all in all, it's just been great to work for him. And not just to work for him, but also just to hang around with him in the Phantom Strider community Discord server. Everything has been pleasant with Phantom Strider. So yeah, I'm probably gonna be working for Strider for many more years to come. But I feel like that's, that's not the most important part about what I'm doing. I mean, sure, it's great that I get to work for someone like Phantom Strider. It's great that I'm getting paid for what I'm doing right now. But that has never really been the focus of what I do on YouTube, and it never will be. What I think is more important than all of these subscribers that I'll ever get, all of the views that I ever get, all of the likes that I'll ever get, or even some future sponsorships that I may receive, or all the YouTubers that I may get to work with. What I think is more important than all of that is to have fun making videos. I'm making videos because I'm passionate about video editing. I'm passionate about film production. I'm making videos because I love doing this. I love sitting in front of a camera and talking to you guys. I love writing scripts for every video that I'm gonna be making. I love recording my voiceovers and editing that all together. And I especially love working with the visuals in Adobe Premiere. Putting everything together as well as I possibly can. 
trying to make a product that can be enjoyed by quite literally everyone. That is what I want to do. That is what I'm passionate about. And that is what I want to keep on doing for many more years to come. And I'm going to continue doing this while staying positive, energetic, and optimistic. That is what this YouTube channel is all about. That is what I want my content to be about. That is what I want my channel to be about. And that is what I'm going to be putting into my work for others. That is just the person I am. And I am not at all shy to express that. So yeah, that's about it for my backstory. And that's about it for what this channel is all about. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the Phoenix Star YT channel if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next one. This is Phoenix Star signing out. Stay passionate and have a good one.